fam! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Emily the Mystic, and you are here for the September energy update to learn about the collective energy during the month of September. I'm so excited to dive into it. I love doing these energy updates. I'm adjusting my microphone here uh, because they help give you clarity on what to expect from the collective energy so that you can work with the energy instead of against it so that you can sort of plan your personal life a little bit around what's going to be going on in the collective. And I'm really looking forward to the month of September because it feels just like such a normal month. It's going to be a really great month to get yourself back on track, to get yourself grounded after perhaps a very indulgent, fun, playful summer, to get you really like step by step making progress towards your goals, to also help you find clarity within your relationships and to feel a little bit more, again, grounded is kind of the word that's coming through here as we head towards the end of 2023. As a side note, I cannot believe I'm filming this in mid-August and I cannot believe that we're heading towards the fall equinox and the fall season. Where did summer go? What the heck? I feel like August was such a fast moving month energetically. I feel like this whole summer went by really quickly. We had a bit of we had some energetic blips in July. July was a bit of an intense month and August kind of made up for that, but also just went by so quick. It's kind of leaving you feeling a little bit out of body. <laughs> You're like, "Well, how did I get here? How is it the end of the summer season, how are my kids starting school tomorrow? How did I get here? Where did my time off go? So again, September is going to help you feel, put you back into your body, help you feel a little bit more situated with what's going on in your life. And so I'm personally really looking forward to that. It's going to feel really good. It's going to feel really cleansing. It's going to feel pretty rejuvenating. So let's dive into it. Let's talk about it. I, as many of you know, if you have been here for a while, you will already know this. But for those of you who are new, I am an Akashic Records master consultant and teacher. So the Akashic Records is my modality of choice. It allows me to tap into a very high frequency of energy to channel information about the soul, about the collective, about what's going on in the world, and to share that with all of you. So these uh, energy updates and forecasts are always for people who are choosing that higher spiritual timeline, who are on an evolved soul path. So if that is you, you will have been led here in divine timing to find this. Um, and of course, though, even though this is created for you, whoever you are listening to this, also you have free will. So you can take on what resonates with you from this and leave the rest. I don't watch other channelers energy forecast videos before, before filming this one. I want to be a clear channel for what comes through on my end. So consider this to be a supplement to whatever content you're consuming from other channelers to see different perspectives and perhaps to find your own way throughout all of that information. So I hope you enjoy this. Comment below what resonates with you. Give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already and make sure you subscribe to my channel for my monthly energy update forecasts. So the month of September, it's giving me a worker bee vibe. It's giving me a vibe of, okay, I finally have some of the motivation. I finally have the clarity on what I want to do next, what project I'm working on or what goal I'm working towards. I've gotten some clarity around that and I can sit and focus and take grounded step-by-step -step action to creating whatever the thing is or getting, accomplishing, reaching the goal that you want to achieve. And this is a really good thing because many of you 
the summer has been a little bit airy fairy. It's been a little bit up and down. It's been a little bit ungrounding in a lot of ways. And September's, there's a lot of that earth grounding energy. It's going to help you again get back in your body, get reprioritize yourself, reprioritize your life, and get clarity on what's next for you and to start taking that grounded, consistent action towards making that happen. Now, couple of different things to note here. So we are still in the midst of Mercury retrograde during uh, the first few weeks of September. Then we'll be in the shadow period during the last two weeks of September. So Mercury retrograde is still going to be in effect. And because of that, and because Mercury retrograde is also happening in the zodiac sign of Virgo, Virgo is all about systems. It's about structure. It's about organization keeping yourself organized. Virgo loves a good to-do list. It loves a good Excel spreadsheet. It loves a good organized closet, right? So Mercury retrograde in Virgo is really going to affect those like day-to-day systems. It's going to affect perhaps your email. It's going to affect um, your communication with your coworkers or your boss. It's going to affect kind of those like day-to-day tasks and systems that you have set up for yourself. So because of that, you're going to need to take it step by step this month. You're going to need to be consistent and showing up for your work and for yourself and for your goals. And you're going to need to really just be focused on breaking things down again into those step-by-step processes. Because of the Mercury retrograde, things could feel like they slow down a lot. Again, this mother, mo- this mother, <laughs> this summer has gone by so fast that September is giving us a, an energetic reset to slow down time a little bit and to be more consistent and more focused and more grounded with the action that we are taking. So it's not a time to rush through projects. It is not a time to do things sloppily or quickly. It is not time to slot together a new business offering and share it with the world and expect that it's going to do well. It's, <coughs> oh my God. <coughs> Woo! And I'm getting all choked up talking about that. So, extra emphasis on that. It is not a great time to launch or talk about brand new massive things that you are creating in your life, whether that be a business offering, if you're a business owner, whether that be a massive new initiative at your company or a massive work project that you are embarking on in your corporate job or even like a massive new undertaking in your personal life. It's not a great time for releasing those things out into the world. It's a great time to work on them behind the scenes. So what I mean by that, because we are not ignoring our goals, we're not ignoring our projects, we're working on them behind the scenes, and we may share bits and pieces and tidbits and fun hints with the people in our life. Maybe we tease our offering on social media. We get people excited about it. But it's not a great time to release something massive into the world. It's a great time to really hone in on that thing, to really edit your copy, to figure out the step-by-step process that you want to take to getting that thing done, to reaching the goal, towards launching that new initiative for your company, whatever it is. But it's not a great time to like be like, here you go, world, here it is. <laughs> this is it. This is my thing, right? So take it slow this month. Revise, revise, revise. Review, review, review. Edit, edit, edit before you go all out and release that new project that you're working on with the world. I'm also telling myself this because 
Side note, little hint, I am working on creating a podcast version of this YouTube channel, which I'm super excited about. And for me, I'm going to make sure that I share this amazing podcast with the world above and beyond the energy of September. Maybe in the later weeks of September, maybe in the beginning of October. I haven't figured out or tuned into that exact day yet because it's not clear to me yet. But I'm going to be spending my month of September working on that incredible project behind the scenes, filming some episode, new episodes for you guys, working on the cover art, writing the intro, like all of that good stuff, finding a great editor, all of the step-by-step things that I need to do in order to bring that to life. But I'm not going to be like, hey, world, here's my podcast on September 5th. It's just not a good t- <laughs> not a good time to do that. If and so bear my, you know, keep bear this, this heed my warning. It's not a warning per se, but be really cautious with launching those huge things out into the world. Take your time with it. Sit with it for another week. Really tune into it. What is it, what does it want from you? What is that thing that you're working on, that beautiful new thing that you're birthing into that into the world, that new creation? that you are working so studiously on behind the scenes, what pieces need to be added to it? What are you missing? Where are you still missing clarity? You're on that. You're going to get it this month, but it doesn't mean that you need to go and take that project public. So, and and by the way, if, if you are listening to this and you're like, well, fuck you, Emily, I am launching this big business offering in September and I'm just going to do it, that's fine. Go for it. But it may be a little bit slow to start. So just take your time with it and really sit with it and sit with when the offering itself wants to be released into the world. Okay. So that is that. Um, Again, it's a great time to be working on your projects from behind the scenes And then to plan a date when Mercury retrograde is over in the latter half of September or even in the beginning of October to release it out into the world for it to be seen. Again, step by step, breaking things down into bite size goals. One thing I love to do with my clients, which is a tool you can use for yourself, is if you have a practice where you connect with your spirit guide team i've got some videos up here on my youtube channel about that i also have a really great spirit guide workshop on how to work with your guides that i will leave linked below one thing i love to teach my clients to do is when they're working with their spirit guides to ask them okay what is my next right action step what do i need to do next what is my next small baby step that I need to take towards manifesting this thing that I want for myself or creating this project. And so that's a great question to ask your guides this month is what are the small action steps that I need to take? What's that next small thing? And maybe it's as simple as creating the TikTok, creating the TikTok account. Maybe it's as simple as booking that much deserved vacation for yourself maybe it's as simple as setting a date on your calendar to work on that big project that you're working on so ask your guides to help you in breaking down your goals into step-by-step mini action pieces and that will really serve you well this month so don't rush things If it feels rushed, it is, (laughs) and people will notice. So especially with your work projects, like if you have to ask your boss for an extension, ask for an extension. It's better that you ask for the extension and review your work and and edit your copy and do all of the things than it is to sloppily put it together and give it to your boss to, to meet the deadline. So... (laughs) <laughs> Emily the Mystic told you to do that and told you that it's okay to ask for the extension. Maybe you're in school and you're writing a paper, you're working on your thesis, whatever it is. Ask your, your professor for that extension this month. Take your time. Really, really take your time. It's so important because you're going to get a better result on the other side. October and November are better months 
to release new things into the world. There's a lot of exciting energy around those months. Um, we've got in November the 1111 portal, we've got the 1010 portal in October, we've got Halloween and the veil is so thin in between now and Halloween time. So it's just such a great time of year for creation and sharing new things. But again, you're gonna want to wait to publish those new things and share them with the world until the end of September at the earliest. So your goal this month is to be your own little worker bee. And I don't mean overwork yourself or burn yourself out, but I do mean getting motivated towards working on those things, getting excited about them. And if you're working on a goal and you're not excited about it, it's a great time to review that goal and decide, is it something that I really want? Or am I doing this because it will please somebody else or because an old version of me wanted it, but I've decided I actually want something else. And it's okay to let go of the old projects that aren't suiting you anymore. Maybe it's a business offering that's just not lighting you up anymore. It's okay to let those things go right now. Or maybe it's, um, maybe it's an old, maybe there's some closet clearing that you need to do this month, some old stuff that you need to get rid of. Great time to do that. Great time to be behind the scenes. That's the energy of the month of September, being behind the scenes. Now, another really positive thing about this month is that our relationships are definitely going to get a boost. Finally, Venus retrograde is ending. That was a huge part of our summer was Venus being retrograde in the sign of Leo. And so our relationships are going to get a big boost because Venus is finally moving forward. So we've you may have been I know myself personally, we've been doing a lot of inner work around relationships this summer. We've been setting the boundaries. We have been focusing on ourselves and our needs and figuring out what those are and how we can communicate them to our loved ones. We've been focusing on ourselves. And September creates more forward motion around our relationships, whether that be having the clear conversation with our loved one or friend or romantic partner that gets us further and allows for growth in the relationship or whether that be meeting new people, finally. You've just had all these old people from your past (laughs) who've been stepping forward during the months of July and August and you're sick of it, you're sick of, (laughs) maybe you've had fun with the old friends, but you're like ready for new energy and meeting new people. September's gonna bring us new people. It's gonna bring about some opportunities for socializing and some opportunities for being out and about and being in new energy and meeting new energy. So it's a great time to meet new people. It's a great time to call in that divine soulmate relationship, to call in those new friendships, to maybe even call in, if you're a business owner, hiring that new virtual assistant or that new mentor that you have been searching for. So it's a great time for meeting new people, and it's a great time for having that clarity and that forward motion in our current relationships. This isn't to say that you're not going to get triggered, but it's going to feel a bit easy breezy, a bit easier breezier, if that's a word or a phrase, than it did over the course of the summer. So we have that to look forward to. And if you have been feeling really triggered, that's going to start to calm down a little bit, Um, especially if you have been doing the inner work and you've been healing your relationships with family members, parents, siblings, you're going to feel a little bit better this month. So that's really, really positive and exciting. You're going to feel more closeness within your current relationships. It's a great month for date nights. It's a great month for booking a little weekend away with your significant other. It's a great month for even going on a family vacation. I know we have Mercury retrograde. Yes, that can mess with travel plans, but it's also a great time to get away as we are kind of feeling rejuvenated from everything we've been through this summer. So if you haven't taken your vacation yet, September is a great month to do that. 
it's really just a great time to, again, just cultivate depth within your relationships. It's not a great time to be so fully in hermit mode that you're not talking to other people. We are on this planet to be in relationship with others. I tell myself this because I'm a bit of a an introvert, a bit of a social anxiety person, a bit of a hermit. So I get it. But this month, like, let's go out to dinner with the friends. And let's, I know for me, I'm going on like a, a beach trip with some of my girlfriends from college that I don't see that often. So it's a good time to do things like that. Um, and also, again, to meet new people as well. So that'll be really exciting. So if you feel like you, some of your projects that are gaining momentum that you really want to talk about and share, you're feeling a little bit disappointed that it's not a great month to do that, or you're feeling slowed down by Mercury retrograde with a ton of tech snafus and all this stuff, but your, your reprieve, your outlet is going to be in a social way. So that'll be really nice, I think. Um, so you definitely have that to look forward to. Now, we also have another important astrological event happening in September, which is that Jupiter will be going retrograde. So Jupiter is the planet of good fortune and abundance and dreams and wishes. Now, this is a beautiful thing that it's going retrograde. So I don't want you worrying about, oh my God, Jupiter is going retrograde. Like, what does that mean for my money and finances? Am I going to make money this month? No, we're letting that go. No fear here. Jupiter retrograde is going to be great. The guides <laughs> that the guides were showing me this visual of this, like, pretend you're a golfer on the golf course and you're swinging your golf club and you're hitting the golf ball and it is bullseye going right into the hole and it's a hole in one. Wow, how exciting is that getting a hole in one? So you may have some unexpected luck this month. You may have some good fortune come your way. You may have some surprise abundance happening this month. It's going to be a month of potentially even unearthing buried treasure, maybe finding plentiful nuggets in your life that you didn't know were there. And that could be seeing your work in a new way and sharing your work with the world in a different way. That could be revisiting something you've already done or written and selling it, reselling it in a different way. That could be even just random little bits and pieces of abundance. So there is some, some good fortune that will come this month for some of us, for most of us, ideally. Um, so Jupiter retrograde is not something to stress about, but it will be a good time to do inner work around manifestation and to do your inner work around manifesting more for yourself. So... We all know that self-worth is very closely tied to manifestation. And if your worthiness and your deservingness is not an energetic vibrational match for what the thing is that you want to manifest, it's going to be really hard to manifest that thing. So in order to raise your self-worth, you need to do some inner work to let go of the beliefs and the trauma, the pain, the trapped emotions from your childhood, past, your past, your past lives, even, um, that are creating resistance towards having the things that you want. So it's a good time to do that work and to really revisit your aspirations, your dreams, your hopes and wishes for yourself. And perhaps to decide it's time to want more. Maybe you felt slowing down of your manifestation abilities or the things you've been wanting to manifest haven't come to fruition. And so it's a great time to check in with that and think to yourself, okay, do I want this or do I want something bigger? <laughs> and maybe the reason why I haven't manifested the thing that I want is because there's something better out there that's on the way. But you're also going to need to tune into what that is for you you are a quantum creator and you get to decide what you want for yourself. 
So let's say you've been trying to manifest a new car and you've been manifesting the Honda Civic, but the higher version of you, your higher self, wants the luxury car. Maybe it's not time for you to have the Honda Civic. Maybe it's time for you to have the luxury car. I'm telling myself this. <laughs> so if that's you, allowing yourself to dream bigger and revisiting your manifestations, we've got the 1111 portal coming up towards the end of the year, we've got the winter solstice. Some of my favorite times of the year for manifesting, my favorite times of the year for being clear with the universe on what I want and what I want to manifest in 2024. So starting to tune into that now, figuring out what that is, especially for your bigger dreams and goals, the things that take more time to come to fruition. But I wouldn't be surprised if there's some like fun, random abundance. Maybe it's a free coffee. Maybe it is a surprise $5 that you win on a scratch off ticket. I don't know. Maybe you win the lottery this month. I don't know. But there will be some pockets of abundance that come your way. So we're going to set that intention to align ourselves to whatever that could be for you and to allow the universe to grace and bless you in ways that are above and beyond your expectations, to grace and bless you in ways that are above and beyond your imagination, in ways that you couldn't even conceptualize for yourself. Let's let the universe take care of that for us. And to see what happens, to see what cool things could come our way this month. Maybe it's an unexpected opportunity. Maybe it's a chance run in with somebody who ends up changing your life. We'll see what happens this month, but it's going to be good. So be hopeful. Be in the energy of hope this month, especially if you are feeling the weight of the Mercury retrograde and the slowness of it all is really bothering you. I know a lot of my clients, my audience, you guys tend to work at the speed of light. <laughs> you like, you're like, what's the next thing? <laughs> I'm ready for it, which is great. So if you're forced to slow down this month and to like take it easy and rest and chill out a little bit, consider it a gift. Consider it an abundant opportunity and an abundance of time to allow you to recalibrate, rejuvenate. And to get excited for what's next. So if you feel like it, you're in a bit of a void this month, like it's a good thing. You're in the cocoon. You're working on your projects behind the scenes. And you, the universe is helping you incubate them to get them ready to be given to the world, to be shown to the world in a way and in a timeline that the world's gonna be ready for and that's gonna feel aligned and that's gonna feel exciting and that's gonna be worthwhile. And it's going to allow your work and your effort to come back to you tenfold. So that's September. I hope that was fun. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you learned a lot from this video. Again, make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel. Comment below it resonated with you. And I will leave some resources below, including the Spirit Guide Workshop for tuning in and connecting with your guides this month, including um, a link to join my Witch Wound Workshop that's happening this month as well on September 21st to help you do some of that inner work that will help you align to your manifestations, specifically healing your witch wound and letting go of your past lives that are blocking you from being your most authentic self in this lifetime. So I'm excited for that. I'll see you there. Enjoy your day wherever you are in the world, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.